So I watched a recent Brody Robertson video where he talks about the trend of Microsoft putting a whole bunch of ads in Windows. And this has been something that's been going on for a long, long time, as Brody shows in his video. And we've all heard about it. We've seen articles and whatever, and we've all experienced it if we've used Windows at all in the last close to 10 years at this point. They've been doing it for a long time. It's not just Windows 11. They did this in Windows 10, too. Ever since they moved to the Metro design or whatever, they've been putting stuff inside of Windows. That's like since Windows 8. It's like We all remember Candy Crush icons in the start menu. Like they, they ha They've been doing this for a long time. So it's not a new thing. And we all know, at least those of us who have used Windows and have moved to Linux, we all know that Windows continues to get worse in many ways. Now, the reason why I want to make this video today is not because we need to talk about advertising on Windows. Brody does a good job in his videos talking about the history of ads on Windows. You can go Google Windows or ads or whatever. You'll find a bajillion articles out there all about the subject. So we don't need to cover that. What I want to talk about today instead is the fact, well, actually, it's two things. First, Windows is going to continue to get worse. And second of all, this is nothing but a win for Linux. As Brody, in his title, says, when Linux just keeps winning. But he also says at the end of his video how you really shouldn't expect a mass migration from Windows to Linux. And he's tr it's true about that. But I don't think, first, anybody's actually expecting that to happen. We all we all know. I mean, there are, maybe there are some delusional people out there who think that once Windows 10 dies, everyone's going to come flocking to Linux, but that's not ever going to happen. We all know that that's not going to happen. But he makes it sound like slow and steady is a bad thing. And my main point for this video today is... Windows is going to continue to get worse. There's going to be many, many more ads in that over time. That's how Microsoft is going to make money off from the consumer market from this point forward because they're not making any money from the consumers off from Windows itself. They make it off from the manufacturers, but they also have a revenue route when it comes to consumers, and that's through advertising. It's going to get a lot, lot worse as time goes on. And people are going people who may not have noticed it now because they've been somewhat subtle about it. I say somewhat in quotation marks because they really haven't been subtle about it, but they've been subtle enough about it that some people may not have noticed. But as it gets worse, more and more people will notice. And advertising bugs people. It really does. Now, as someone who makes money off from ads online through this channel, I understand the necessity of making money through ads online. Like I understand, I get the point, but there are certain places for things that were there, you know, appropriate to be and advertising in your operating system is not an appropriate place to advertise. We can talk about Ubuntu doing the exact same thing, and maybe we will do that in a video someday because they have actually started to do some of the exact same things Microsoft is doing, advertising their products in their operating system. It's a little weird and a little not good, but that's a discussion for another day. But the point I'm wanting to make here is that, yes, we're not going to see a mass migration of people from Windows to Linux, even as Windows continues to get worse, but we are already seeing people start to think about it. And yes, it's a small trickle of people, but we don't go a month without seeing the usage statistics for Linux go up. Like lately, it's just been a, on a slow and steady climb. In the last two years, we've gone from like 2% to 4%. That's a gigantic jump in just two years, considering the fact that from like 1991 to 2000. 18, 2020 or whatever it is, it was like at 1%. Like that was it. And we've gained two of almost 4% in just a couple of years. That's a gigantic climb, even though it doesn't seem like much. That's millions and millions of more people actually using Linux in some form or fashion, whether it's through the Steam Deck or actually trying it on their desktop. So that slow and steady climb has led to legitimate and real world gains in people who are actually using Linux. And I know that Brody has seen his viewership go up. I know DT has, I know I have. In the last year or so, usage or viewership of Linux content has increased. And I think a lot of that is because more and more people are very, very interested in Linux. And no small part of that is because Windows continues to get worse. So, 
My point for today is that if you haven't moved to w Linux yet, don't expect Windows to get better, first off, or expect to pay more for Windows if you want it to be good. The free version is going to continue to deteriorate, 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 it's a word, Deterior, deteriorate, it's just really hard to say. <laughs> the free version of Windows is going to continue to deteriorate as time goes on, which means that you're going to start to consider, I think, more and more moving to Linux full time. And I think as more and more people do move to Linux, we're going to start solving some of the big problems that I talked about in one of my recent videos where I talk about why normal people don't actually consider moving to Linux. And two of those big reasons are Adobe and gaming, right? Those are two very big reasons why people still continue to use Windows. I think as more and more people do use Linux, we'll see those problems get solved. Now, whether or not Adobe will actually ever bring their product to Linux, I don't know. It's, I think it's more likely that we'll just see more and more investment in the tools that exist on Linux and those things will continue to get better. And then, the, you know, we maybe will see Adobe do it because they'll have actual real competition. We'll see. It's going to take a while. And I know that the impatient among us wants to see Linux succeed right now. But Linux is going to win in the end. I, I know it, that sounds like an awful Linux nerd, Linux fanboy thing to say. But it's quite clear that when, that Microsoft doesn't care about the Windows experience. They just don't care. They care about squeezing as much money out of it as possible. We talk about the inshitification of these things, and this is what's happening to Windows. Eventually, they'll make it so bad that people will stand up and notice, and then they're going to look for alternatives. Now, some of those people, if not most of them, will probably go to something like Chrome OS. It's still kind of Linux, which is kind of a win, but it's also owned by Google, still proprietary. It's not the best thing ever, but it's something different at least. And it might give them more exposure to things like Linux, which is kind of what Chrome OS gives you because you can use Linux apps and stuff there as well. So that's one place. But a lot of them are actually going to come and use Linux for the first time, whether it's, you know, on a Linux PC that they bought, which they can now do. Hopefully that process does get easier as time goes on. Or, you know, they'll have someone install Linux on their PC, PC for them. Now, obviously, it's never going to be millions and millions of people coming all at once. It's going to start and continue on as it has been, being the people who are more technologically inclined, because there is a barrier to entry to Linux for a lot of people. It's just true. As Brody says in his videos, most, most people don't know what a computer is or how one works. They're just going to want to use their web browser. And that's why I think a lot of people are going to consider moving to just something like Chrome OS. But the people who do know more about Linux and have needs that exceed what Chrome OS is capable of will finally start to make that hop. And that slow trickle of more and more users will eventually make a difference. We've already seen it happen. It's like, it's it's happening, it's just not happening fast. And that's kind of the entire point of my video for today is that Linux is going to win eventually. Like, <laughs> eventually Linux will be a major player on the desktop market. It, we didn't ever, like, if you'd asked me just three or four years ago, I would have said it never happened. In fact, I think I did say that it was never going to happen, that it was just going to kind of be at 2% forever and ever. I, I'm pretty sure I've made that claim in one of my prediction videos or something like that. But I was wrong. It's going to happen. I, I don't think we'll ever see like 90% market share or even 50% market share. But do I think... 20%, 30% is a is a something that we could see eventually? Yes. Is it going to happen next year? No. 10 years from now? Probably not even then. It, it, it's going to be very slow and steady, and it, it will eventually get to a point where it's a respectable number beyond just the single digits, right? It, it, that's what I think is going to happen. Now, that all is dependent on the fact that we're all going to stay exactly the same and never advance technologically ever. If the human AI pin <laughs> succeeds, maybe we won't need computers anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, AI is going to save us from our computers, I guess. I don't know. So it was just kind of a rambly video. I have many thoughts on Windows itself. Mostly they can be summed up in the phrase Windows sucks because I truly do believe Windows is terrible. 
I think that you can make many arguments about Linux not being fantastic. You can talk about the lack of hardware support in, in some cases. You can talk about the Wayland being not so great for people who use certain types of hardware. You can talk about the lack of software, the lack of easy, you know, multiplayer gaming because of anti-cheat. You can talk about many things. You can talk about how hard it is to install if you're just a regular non-technical person. You can talk about many things about Linux, and I would agree with you on the vast majority of them. Like, the gaming thing is a problem, the lack of Adobe is a problem, it, Linux is hard to install for regular, normal mortals. You know, I'd agree on the vast majority of them. Linux is nowhere near perfect, but the difference between Linux and Windows is that Linux continues to get better. I truly, honestly do believe this. And there's no better example than Wayland itself. Now, Wayland is a very technical thing. Most normal people don't care about it. But if you've used, if you've used Linux for the last couple of years and you've experienced Wayland two years ago and you experience Wayland now, it's miles and way better. And I think that that encapsulates a lot of the open source software experience right now is that it continues to improve. Yes, it's very slow. Very, very slow in, in, in some cases. GIMP, I'm looking at you. Your progress is very, very slow. But it does continue to improve. Whereas on Windows, <laughs> you know, it just continues to get worse and worse and worse. And Microsoft doesn't care about that because they want to squeeze as much money out of their consumers as possible. And eventually, and maybe slowly, but eventually, that's going to bite them in the ass. So that is it for this video. If you have thoughts on any of the stuff, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to Brody's video in the comments or in the video description so you can go check that out if you want to see what all this is about. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. You can also head on over to the store, which is available at shop.thelinuxcast.org. There you'll find all sorts of merch with awesome logos and sayings and all sorts of stuff. All the proceeds from the merch go directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. So thank you so very much for those of you who have supported me there as well. Shop.thelinuxcast.org. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. And Hyperland just fucking crashed. Fuck off, you piece of shit. Okay, so first off... You guys just heard my reaction to, <laughs> you know what I was saying about Linux being better? I, I take it back. Everybody should use Windows. <laughs> Windows. <laughs> ah, it's horrible. Anyways, thanks for, for all your support. <laughs> That's just absolutely horrible. I left the response to Hyperland crashing on me in just so you guys could ha enjoy my pain and suffering. But anyway, <laughs> that's just that's the absolute best. Uh, thanks everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely ama amazing. I just truly, honestly, you guys are just the absolute best. So thank you so very much. Thanks everybody for watching. I don't know what of this ending is actually going to look like. So if you hear me sounding ex exasperated <laughs> hyperland crashed i don't know if i'll leave that part in I, I i want to leave that part in but it might you know dilute the power of the video <laughs> anyways that's it for this one you can leave uh comments all that stuff i'll see you next time uh have a good day <laughs>